Our in-depth coverage continues now at Port Canaveral. If the storm hits us hard, boats at the marina could be sent flying like toys, really. So tonight, port officials are trying to protect everyone. Channel 9's Ken Tindall live now at the port. And Ken, you found a number of boat owners scrambling now to get their boats out of that water. Yeah, George, a lot of people have been securing their vessels here today, but tonight you can see a lot of boats are still out here in the water. Tonight, the port officials don't want people to wait. It's a race against time. They're taking all the boats out of the water at the Cape Marina at Port Canaveral, using a big lift to haul them to dry land. All boats must be taken out of the water or leave port ahead of the storm. Paul Furukawa got his boat to dry land and was tying it down. Yeah, I got a call earlier from my marina that said that they were going to have an evacuation, so I had to come over and get the boat out. No choice. No choice. The Coast Guard set what's called port condition whiskey this afternoon. That means they expect sustained gale force winds from Hurricane Dorian within 72 hours. All boats at risk of breaking free in the storm are required to be secured. Port Canaveral is urging boaters not to wait until the last minute. I saw the storm was coming, saw a Cat 3 coming, so I figured it was probably time to get it out of the boat, be safe, and trying to beat the rush. They're all keeping an eye on Dorian's track and Port Canaveral is expecting to feel the impact. Boaters are hoping for at least a near miss. And once the boats are out of the water, boat owners have to keep them as secure as possible. The rigging is kind of loose right now, so I'm going to be pulling the rigging tight and uh, making sure there's nothing to flap around. You can see a lot of docks at this marina already are empty, but a number of boats still have to be removed and other preparations made before it's time to hunker down. Now, Dorian is also forcing some of the cruise lines to change their itineraries. If the storm continues its track towards central Florida, the impact on the cruise lines here at Port Canaveral could change depending on the timing. Live at Port Canaveral tonight, Ken Tindall, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.